Hello, welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to transform a car photo shoot into this amazing look. I will use Luminar Neo to accomplish this result. I will apply different AI tools of Luminar Neo like Sky Replacement, Sun Rays, Enhance with other developing tools. If you don't own Luminar Neo, don't worry, these edits can be accomplished with other photo editing software. But if you want to check Luminar Neo's latest offer, I will leave the link in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the point. So here's the photo I will be retouching today. Let's go ahead and check this photo's information. I see that this photograph was shot at ISO 200, aperture f2.5 at 1 320th of a second camera I used was a Sony 7R2 with a 50mm 1.8 lens. Let's go now to the edit section. I started uh, on this photograph by erasing uh, fences that are this jersey blocker or barrier behind the car. If you want to see how I deleted those, you can check the video that is appearing in the card above. Or you can look for the link in the description of the video. Over here in the develop row, I switch uh, the profile to camera neutral and I also uh, change the white balance to shade because I like uh, the yellowish tone and the optics, right? The, the three options for automatic optics correction. For enhancing this photo, the first tool I will use is enhance AI which is an artificial intelligence tool of Luminar Neo. I will apply around 30 to see what it does. As you see, it's working on the shadows and the highlights of the photo. Let me try now around 25, I think is good so far. I like it the way it is right now. After applying enhancement, I will replace the sky. I want to change or replace the sky of this photo because I want to add an extra drama to this beautiful photograph. I will click on Sky AI and then I will select Sky that is in here. This one over here, which is one of the skies that come with Luminar Neo. So I will wait for the artificial intelligence to replace the sky. Now the sky is in there. The reason I'm using the sky is because it has the sun placed in the position I want it to be. Uh, the only adjustment I will, or refinement I will do to this um, sky is I will increase the relight strength because I want the tone of the sky to be part of the entire photograph, All right? So if I reduce it to zero, you see the, we have the, the original tone, but when I add some of the relighting, it will add the, that color. It will depend on the photograph you are working on. The next step is to uh, I want to darken this section of the street over here. I want the car to pop. So I will now use a develop tool, but first I will add a mask using the linear gradient tool, uh, like this. I only want the mask to be part of the, I mean, to affect the street. So I'll, I will switch back to adjustments and I will lower the exposure around there that's okay good done with that now i will open another develop tool and then here i will apply some curves just to brighten up the photo a touch like there okay now with the develop mode with the curves is fine um i will now add sun rays this is the part that will add drama to the photo. So I will click on sun rays and apply an amount of around 40. And I want to relocate the sun. I want to put the sun in this area. So I will click on place sun center and I will move the sun here. Okay. Good. Now I have the sun in the correct position. I want to integrate that sun to the photograph. So I will move straight to the warmth section and I will increase the sun warmth around 
60 or 65. And the warmth of the sun rays around maybe 80% because I really want the sun rays to uh, have the color of the sky. So, so far it is looking good. One more thing I will do here. I, I want to soften this area of the sun rays. I don't want them to be that, um, you know, present in this area of the photo. So I will go to masking, select brush, erase. I will reduce the strength to 60. And with a bigger size, I will brush out the effect a touch. Maybe a little bit more like that. Good. So I have the sun rays where I want them to be. The next step is to add more mood to this photograph. And I use the word mood because there is a tool called mood in Luminar Neo and is under the creative section. So I will click on mood. And for this photograph, I will use Anaheim. So that's, that's it. You let the tool work by itself. And I invite you guys to test all the different uh, adjustments that you will see under Mood. It really does incredible things. So with Mood done, I will add a touch of contrast using the Develop tool again. I will close all this and go to Smart Contrast, maybe around. There is fine. And the next step now is to brighten up the front of the car. I want to uh, apply some more light in here because I want the brand of the car and some other details in there to, to pop. So to accomplish that, I will use a develop tool again. I will increase the exposure. Okay, don't worry about the entire photograph. I'm focusing on the center uh, or this part of the car. I will lower those highlights and increase the shadows like that. I will close the light one, maybe a touch of curves there, uh, maybe here. Okay. To apply this adjustment only to this part, I will click on masking, select a brush, click paint, strength at 100%. Definitely has to be a smaller brush and I will start painting the effect over this area. Okay. You see how it brings out these details of the car bumper, which are, in my opinion, really cool. Okay. Let me see. Yes. I wanted that to happen. Now the photo looks good, but it can look better. I will move to toning. I will select another tool from the creative toolbox. Uh, this tool is the toning one. I will click on this one and I want to affect the shadows only. So I will click on shadows. I will increase the saturation on this one, maybe around, let me go, let me get crazy here around 60. And I will change the hue because I want that toward to the magenta side. Maybe around there. Good. Looks cool. I really like it. So I really like the effect this uh, toning one is providing. So, so far so good. Another thing I can do here to make uh, this photo more dramatic is use the dramatic tool. I will click on dramatic and we'll add 50% right there. You see how the highlights and everything start kind of uh, integrating like that. The rest of the adjustments, I believe it the way they are. There you have it, guys. This is the photo we already or I already transformed from this to this. So Again, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And don't forget to check the video on how I erased those GRC barriers behind of the car. Until the next straight-to-the-point tutorial, guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.